Alright, welcome to the quick quiz sa ating topic na active and passive voice. If you haven't seen the video lesson, dito sa topic na ito, don't forget to click dito sa i button sa taas so you can access that free lecture. It's best if mapanood nyo muna yon para pagdating nyo dito, sure na kayo sa kung anong gagawin ninyo. Alright, so I'll give you a minute uh, to um, answer each of the questions here in this quiz. And then at the end, I'm going to explain kung ano yung tamang sagot at kung paano siya makuha. Alright, so are you ready? Let's do this. Alright, it's time to check your answers. And before we do that, I would want to remind you, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and click subscribe and hit the bell icon just so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. I have a bunch more planned out for you. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell para malaman ninyo as soon as a new video posts. Uh, I would love to have you join the team then. So um, again, this is for free and you don't need to do anything. So you can also f feel free to share this to your other friends. All right, let's uh, check your answers. Let's start with number one. So ang uh, directions natin, you have to determine the voice of each sentence. So ilalagay nyo dito kung ano yung form niya or ano yung voice. And then you have to change it to the other form or babalik talin mo siya. In this one, it says, my student gave that truly remarkable speech. So ano yung kanyang form? If you notice here, yung my student, siya yung gumawa, tigagawa. Siya yung nagbigay ng speech. Okay? So nauna siya, then yung verb, which is simple, wala ka rin be auxiliary here. And then, wala kang, yung my mo, okay, it's nasa, uh, walang by na word, by plus the doer. So, ibig sabihin nun, this is actually in the active form. Okay, so ngayon, babalik tarin na natin siya. Again, ang structure, pagbalik tad, you have to get the object first. 
and then you add the verb with a be auxiliary. In this case, yung gave will be uh, was given kasi past tense tapos yung speech isa lang naman siya. So we have that truly remarkable speech was given and then yung my student which is the subject will be by my student kasi you will add by to the subject. Okay? So the converted or inverted form would be that truly remarkable speech was given by my student. Alright? So I hope you got that right. Again, uh, careful lang kayo dun sa mga kinakabit or dinadagdag, yung was. Kaya siya was singular kasi ang pinag-uusapan na uh, yung ginib ay yung speech, which is just one. Okay? Hindi siya pwedeng we are given. And then yung by, ilalagay yung lagi kasi yung subject mo ngayon nasa dulo na siya. So you have to indicate na siya yung gumawa nung action. Okay? So that's number one. I hope you got, got that right, no? Number two, ang sentence naman ay, those animals were neglected by my neighbors. Okay? Looking at the sentence, you have where and then the verb. So, clue na agad yun kasi be auxiliary yung were. Tapos, meron ka pang by. Okay? Which is another clue. So, ibig sabihin, ang form niya is that it is in the passive form. Passive voice ang ginagamit dun sa sentence na ito. So, i-convert natin siya ngayon. Babalik ta rin natin siya. Again, ang, ang structure ng passive ay object. And then yung be, auxiliary, and then the verb, tapos by, and then subject. Sa inverted form, uunahin natin yung subject. Sino ba ang nag-neglect? Nag Sinong gumawa ng action? That would be my neighbors. So, siya yung mauuna. My neighbors, and then the verb, which was neglected. In the past kasi nangyari, kasi nga, worry nga siya, no? So, my neighbors neglected, and then yung object, sino ang neglect Yung animal. So, my neighbors neglected those animals. Alright? Ida-drop natin yung where, the be auxiliary, and yung by, kasi hindi na siya kailangan. So, my neighbors neglected those animals. Alright? So, again, this is fairly simple. I hope you got that right. Ngayon, yung third uh, nating sentence, which is for an entire day, the children painted that giant mural. Okay? Um, itong for an entire day, that is kind of a parang tanggalable phrase. It's um, a determinant of time. So, for an entire day. Actually, you can remove that from the sentence, no? Nalagay ko siya dyan just so to make sure na you know how to spot the parts. Kung tatanggalin ko yan, or hindi ko muna siya iisip, is set aside ko muna siya. Ang sentence is, the children painted, painted that giant mural. So, if you notice, wala kang by, wala kang be auxiliary. So, this actually is already in the active form. Alright? Kasi yung the children is the... Subject, painted is the simple na verb, and then you know, that giant mural is the direct object. So in order for us to invert it, you have two options actually. The first one would be uh, to just copy yung for an entire day, uh, or you can also put it at the end. Let me show you. No? Ang importante pa rin, dapat yung passive form, which is um, object muna, so that giant mural, and then yung verb mo, which is painted, lalagyan mo siya ng... Uh, auxiliary na was kasi that giant mural was painted kasi yung mural ang pinag-uusapan isa lang siya so hindi siya where has to be was and then lalagay mo yung by the children uh, the una dapat yung mural so that that giant mural and then yung ating uh, be and then yung verb so that gi that giant mural was painted and then by the children so an inverted form yeah, should look like this the mural was painted by the children for an entire day or you have another option which is unahin natin yung prepositional phrase hindi magbabago tong part na to so for an entire day the mural was painted by the children so i hope you got that right and again if you haven't uh, seen the video lesson yet if you want to master and find out kung Bakit nangyari yun? You can go ahead and click this eye to, to catch up. And uh, if you want more video lessons, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon para wala kayong ma-miss. And if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to my uh, Facebook page. That's www.facebook.com slash teamlaika to find out the schedule for the upcoming live review events. If you want to join the online review program or get one of the reviewers that I made. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, as always, never stop learning. Adja, adja, kain yan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.